Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a bonus reading for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question below. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear and concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we have distant horizons, we have courtship, and then we have journey. Okay, so Aquarius, um, you have like what one, two, three cards that talks about travel, um, relationship business or personal but it also talks about um events then we have another card of uh, events social activity some of you need to put yourself out there in terms of getting what you want because we have the hopes wish wishes and dreams card which is the distant horizons um and the cards say, whatever card comes after this card, it is just a dream right now. It is a dream unrealized, but it could actually come to fruition for you if you do the work. And the card after that is courtship. So right now, some of you are hoping, wishing, praying for a courtship, a real relationship. But you have to do the work. And the work for some of you is going to be travel, movement, putting yourself in those spaces, in those places, where you meet people, where you're seeing um, activity. This talks about departure and arrival. It talks about vehicles and transportation of all kinds, but definitely vehicles. You might need to go on a road trip, or you might go on a road trip with either family, siblings, friends. There'll be some social event that you will event, I mean, attend or you need to attend um, because uh, you can meet someone new with the Joker card, which is the Fool card, and the Courtship card. You can definitely meet someone new. This person, it says with the Courtship card, allow for new energy to come into your sector. Don't be so closed down, or don't keep relationships outside of, of yourself, or in not in that intimate space. Um, it also says here, um, you got some unexpected income coming to you. Now, this could be from legal issues, um, legal problems or documentation or something you've done. You did something to get this money, and now it's finally returning to you because income is something you got to work for the money. So it could be legal. It could be investment. It could be you did work for somebody, and now they're finally paying you or something of that nature. So it's not a whole lot of money, but it is... Definitely money is unexpected and um, is relevant. Um, you also may get an unexpected message because this card also can talk about unexpected message from someone who um, has you heavily on their mind, okay? Um, you're in their thoughts. You could have had a relationship with this person, marriage, business, I don't know. Yeah, you could have business dealings with this person. They're thinking of you. There's separation here. They could be um, a wealthy man. Now they're either wealthy in terms of money, monetarily, or they're wealthy in knowledge and experience. This is a person who feels like in their life things have come easily, especially since they built themselves up to this, this, um, this status as the wealthy man. So that is a person who gets exactly what they want. This is a person who is, when this person contacts you and tries to come back, it's, you want to be prompted with a choice here. Um, do you want to engage or not? Because a new pathway is opening up to you. Or this person could be coming back to you saying that they are renewed, they are changed. They are going in a new pathway. Um, and that they want to bring you some level of sudden wealth. Um, they're wealthy. They want to bring you wealth. They might want to share their resources. They might want to um, invest in you. 
But you also have another man showing up, a mature man. If this is not the same person, this is somebody running interference. I feel like for some of you, this is the same person, the mature man and the wealthy man. This person could want to come into your life and offer you this new way of, of living. Uh, maybe they're going to, you know, elevate you. They're going to level you up or they're going to upgrade you. But this relationship is not going to be without work, hard work and waiting and patience. And the both of you are kind of pig-headed and stubborn because you could be coming up as a mature woman. This person could try to keep you around by giving you gifts, gifts of money, actual physical gifts. They feel like you are a gift in their life. And they feel like if ever you were to leave, they, they'll be in that impoverished state of mind. They don't know, they wouldn't know what to do. They will be very low. They will be in a place of lack. Also, this person could want to gift you something, keep you around, even though they're already married. They need your energy. This person could always could could also be promising you the gift of marriage, maybe even giving you a proposal of marriage. It's going to take a long time for them to actually get off the horse and do it. This person may have to also watch you marry somebody else or be in another connection too. You're not seeking and finding. What you are seeking is looking for you. You just got to go out there and find it. You got to go out there and make the magic happen in your own life. You have another card that talks about join in. Join groups of people in the flesh uh, that can uh, you know that you share same interest or similar in interests uh, where you can um, have opportunity to do whatever to meet other people someone could be um, wanting your forgiveness because they they've gone and found some religion and spirituality for themselves and you're definitely on their heart, in their mind, in their memories, in the sentiment of you. The leftover feelings have, are still there for you and maybe this other person. They could want to support you, once again, by giving you some money. Windfall coming in. Your windfall also could come from you starting a new career, maybe from your hobby or hobbies. It would definitely be a new career and it could end an era of an impoverished state of being. You could be using your gifts and your talents and now it's going to take you to a better way of living, of being, having more money. Someone wants you to change your mind or you're changing your mind about someone. Just keep the faith in whatever you're doing because things are going to turn over for you. Make small but significant achievements towards your goals, Aquarius. Do something every day. This is the message that I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. There's somebody definitely wanting to come back and reconcile with you. You don't see it coming and it's really not on your radar. They want you to do, yeah, they're going to come back and try to give you gifts, money, trips, anything you want because they, they're in a very impoverished state of being without you. Okay, Aquarius, I hope it resonates. If it does, let me know down in the comment.
down in the comments. Get your own personal reading at the website level. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.